All right, it is freezing out today. It is almost New Year's, so uh, depending on when this gets out, Happy New Year's. And uh, I've got this steep ravine behind me here, and uh, I'm looking for new seepages today to see if I can find a red salamander. So let's see what we can do. just walking along and I kind of kicked this rock up just as it is now. Double flip two species you don't really see under the same cover item all the time together. Um, it's a red back salamander and a two line salamander. The reason you don't see these guys together under the same cover all the time is typically red back salamanders kind of like the more wooded areas while the two lines like the uh, streams or wet areas and at this time of year you'd expect to see them in a seepage. I'm gonna pick these guys up. There's the red back releasing himself. There goes the two line. Cool. Two line, getting away. All right, just flip the first dusky salamander. These guys are quick, so be ready for this guy to shoot out of my hand and escape. Oh. <laughs> Told you. Uh, there he goes, back under his rock, but uh, we'll see more. All right, here's a better look at some dusky salamanders. They're not terribly exciting. Here's a crayfish. Let this guy go back under his rock. Cool. No, don't do it. Don't do it. He's getting close. Ah! This rock has four hanging out under it. Check it out. There's one. And look at this. Two, three, four. Nice. I'm not gonna bother these guys, I'm just gonna gently put the rock back down and uh, I'm gonna keep looking. All right, this rock was absolutely loaded with stuff. Like, just look at this conglomeration of amphibians. Man, there's tons under here. I'm gonna have to make sure to be careful to move all these out before I put the rock back down. We got pickerel frogs. Out the butt. Cool. All right, so we didn't get what we were looking for back there, um, and it's getting cold and pretty dark. So I'm gonna call it a day and pick this video up soon. All right, guys, I am out again in the woods here, as you can see. Um, I'm heading downhill towards what I think might be a seepage and there's at least a pond and a creek, and I'm hoping that there's gonna be some good habitat to find some salamanders. Um, the target, again, is a northern red salamander. They've been giving me a lot of trouble this winter. Um, and yeah, it's about a week since the last part of the video. It's a little bit less cold. Uh, lately, I've just been laying a lot of cover for the spring, so hopefully, if that pans out, we're gonna be finding a lot more king snakes and coastal plains milk snakes and things like that. Um, so that should be cool. But anyway, I gotta get through this first. So we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, so far not too bad. Definitely got better pants for it than last time. Oh, check this out. Looks like there's some 
remnants of like an old well or something right here um, with slabs and rocks perfect seepage coming out of this hillside we're gonna see what we can find here this is good First one here, a little two line salamander. I've seen a bunch of these. So far, just a lot of the usual suspects. See, we got a two line right there, moving around. The dusky salamander, the darker one. You guys have seen plenty of these, so I'm gonna let them go. All right, cool, we're gonna keep looking. This little guy is a juvenile, or just a little sub-adult red salamander. So this is our target, but we're looking for one that's quite a bit bigger. It's gonna be nice and red or orange. So I'm gonna let this little guy go and we're gonna keep looking. Come on, come on. Under one rock, I got two more red salamanders. Both of them still immature. You can see on this bigger one that it's starting to get some of the spotting. Its tail's kind of becoming less aquatic and flat. But it's still got those gills. As you can see. And then this guy is also pretty small. So I'm going to let these guys go and... Uh, we're gonna keep looking, hopefully we get something a little more exciting. Look, this is awesome. I just, I didn't know what this was at first, but look. The water is literally coming right up out of the ground here, at the headwaters of this creek. That's so cool. Wow. I mean, it's a good place to look around then. Nice big rock here was loaded with these pickerel frogs. They're all clustered together hibernating. And uh, I pulled them out so I wouldn't squish them when I put the rock back down. I'm gonna let them go right back under the rock. That one's pretty pretty though, with all the yellow and stuff like that. The little male. Pretty cool. covered in mud from the seepages it's even on my face and uh, it's just not happening out here and it's getting dark uh, I've been trying pretty hard lately on and off the camera to try to get an adult red salamander and a seepage but it's really just not happening so I'm gonna have to call this video for now or uh, this segment of the video and pick it up another day Well guys, I am uh, back out again today. As you can see, I'm uh, somewhere a little bit colder. I'm up in the mountains. We've gotten some snow. It's freezing cold today, so that's why I've got this little Tupperware to put salamanders in with water as I find them, because it's not really good for them to pull them out of the water and then hold them out in the open for extended periods of time uh, when the air temperature is this cold. So uh, that's a good thing to be doing. We're gonna check this seepage that we have over here um, and see if we can find a red salamander or a spring salamander, hopefully, and we'll film anything else we get. This is my last ditch effort for this video to find a cool salamander, because so far it's, uh, it's been pretty basic, I'd have to say. <laughs> Well, despite being as cold as it is, in this little seepage right here, tiny little thing where the water comes out the ground, under some rocks, I was able to find two sub-adult northern spring salamanders. Let's get a closer look at these guys. See, they still have some gills and stuff. Starting to get those big bulgy eyes.
pretty cool. We're gonna let these guys go and uh, keep looking, see if we can't turn up an adult. All right, guys, so we didn't end up seeing too much more that you haven't already seen other than those spring salamanders. So um, that's probably gonna be it for this video. I'm sorry for the lack of cool things lately. It's very cold, as you can see. Um, the good news is that soon I'm gonna be heading down to Georgia might stop in North Carolina for some salamanders on the way down. And uh, so, you know, look forward to that. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, catch you on the next one.